The Louisiana Purchase was the real estate deal of the century, the 19th century. For mere pennies an acre, the United States of America doubled its size overnight. Here's how the deal went down. When Thomas Jefferson became president in 1801, one of his top priorities was to take possession of the Port of New Orleans. Its prime location at the mouth of the Mississippi River on the Gulf of Mexico made it ideal for American farmers transporting their goods to markets. So Jefferson sent a broker to talk with the current owner of New Orleans, France. The French were interested because Napoleon needed the cash to pay for a war with Great Britain, but Jefferson's first offer of $2 million was rejected. In 1803, Jefferson tried again, this time offering $10 million. The French not only agreed to sell New Orleans, but threw in the rest of the Louisiana Territory for only $5 million more. It's a bargain of epic proportions, 828,000 square miles proportions, from the Mississippi River to the Rocky Mountains proportions, all for mere pennies an acre in today's currency. Sound too good to be true?